Hey everyone, it's Ray here and I'm with Gary Booth, desert guide and adventurer extraordinaire. This is the first in a series of six videos that we're producing for Canadian Geographic uh, Education and for I2P Education. And today we're talking about temperature. And Gary, I gotta ask you, I mean, you're a man of the Namibian desert. You've explored this whole area. Uh, what we know of temperature is how we perceive it can be a huge impact. For example, last year when Stefano and I were in the Arctic, it was minus 50. It felt like minus 65 if you factored in the wind. And we're noticing here, and I've noticed this in other hot places, but especially yesterday when we were down in that box canyon that it was, you know, in the 40s Celsius, let's say, but the wind made it feel even hotter. So the perception is, is that it's hotter. Is that something that holds true? Yeah, I think what's happening, Ray, is we've, we've had 45 degrees these last few days in the shade. And when you're in the bottom of the canyon where these guys have been in January, 45 degrees increases and the wind, it almost sucks the water out of you. When it's cold, it brings the temperature down, you get a chill factor. It seems to work in reverse when we're when in the desert in the summertime especially. From the bottom of the thermometer to the top of the thermometer, temperature and the wind have a huge impact on how we feel.